lacto-fermented food. As we say sauerkraut, kimchi, or any kind of vegetables that's fermented, often it's lacto-fermented. So it's kind of the fermentation that everybody wants to know how to do it. And it's also the simplest to do, almost the simplest to do, really. There is more nutrients basically in the fermented food than just before you fermented it, which is pretty magical. Exactly. What's great is you start off with foods that are good, and then after they're fermented, become foods you crave. We're at the time of closing and showing how, there's many techniques to actually make it work, so we'll show them all, or almost, we'll almost show them all. Right, what's most important at this point is really just to make sure that your veggies are not gonna be touching air or oxygen, and so they can't get moly, they can't turn brown or anything like that. So there's a ton of different ways of going about that. First technique is the weight. So these little pebbles that we find, this one is made for this. Uh, you can use, uh, I mean, don't use a rock, right? Yeah, rocks have a tendency to leach. They can have lead in them, they can have iron in them, which is gonna make them rust. Uh, so just as a general rule, it's better not to use stones. So those weight, you can find them on our website if you're, if you're looking for something like this. Uh, we'll, so that's gonna work. Right, and we'll just close it. And it's gonna degas. It's gonna produce gas for the first couple of days. So this is gonna be a kimchi, so it's only gonna be fermenting for three to five days but it's gonna produce gas, and so you don't wanna tighten it too much. You really just turn it until it stops turning, like that, because it's gonna be leaking gas, and it's also gonna be, some liquid's gonna be falling out of it. Now that it smells good, that you taste it, it's ready, you wanna eat it just like that, it's time to put it in the fridge. You close it tight, put it in the fridge, and it's gonna stay good for at least a year, which is amazing. Like your vegetables, they wouldn't really stay good for a month, max. For a year, they'll be amazing, and they'll make your friends, everybody happy, really. Right, if you make enough, you can have them until next season. Exactly.